The new series, The Changeling, is available right now on Apple TV+. Plus. But is it worth checking out the entire season? I'm here to talk about that. Let's jump into my review right now. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel today for another review, because today we're going to be reviewing the new series, the changeling which is available right now on apple tv plus yes four episodes are available right now a new episode uh every friday and i'm here to talk about the entire season because i have seen it all i am a little late to getting this review done but i certainly want to talk about it and truly just like my introduction is it worth checking out the entire season i don't know I don't know. And let me tell you why. Because I thought this series started off fantastic. The first three episodes, I thought, really had me hooked. Very invested. And then the fourth episode, I was like, okay, this is kind of going in a different direction. The tone feels a lot more soft. Um, because the, I think the first three, you were so on edge. The mystery stakes were so high. Uh, and, and I think that intrigue just kept you invested. And like, I'll talk about everything that's, you know, going on. Uh, but certainly, if you have not checked this out thus far, certainly go and check out the episodes that's available. Again, four episodes are available. Uh, episode five will be releasing September 22nd. And as I mentioned, a new episode each and every Friday. There are eight episodes and I have seen them all here. So I'm going to say this. The first three episodes confident i'm very confident in saying that they're good and the finale definitely is worth a watch the fourth episode maybe but five six and seven i, I don't know what was happening i don't know and i'm gonna say this like by watching this entire season i think i certainly have more questions than answers and i will tell you this that some of the questions that you have in terms of like the first three episodes, four episodes, you will get some of that sort of answer in the finale, but then more questions come about. So I think it's very, very clear to understand that this series falls under like the horror genre for sure. You can tell by the first couple of episodes. There's definitely drama. It's absolutely sci-fi, but the fantasy aspect, I think is the biggest like part to remember here because like the series goes off the rails and I mean like I feel like <laughs> I feel like we're in like Lakeith Stan Stanfield's mind in like an episode of Atlanta like I feel like it's so overly stimulating in terms of like what's happening because like number one the the, the one thing that this series does very well I thought the visuals were very good I thought the sound was very good and I think as you just start to invest or even try to discover what's going on I think like all the imagery and things it starts to take your mind to places so like it just truly reminds me of like lakeith's character um in atlanta who's just always on some other stuff you know what i mean but he is playing the character apollo um and he's alongside of emmy um who is played by clark uh Bacco. These two fell in love with each other, had a baby, and then it just went into scrambled eggs. Uh, it's hard to really say. I mean, and again, this is already released, so it's not a spoiler. You can go check it out now. Um, but things got crazy between the two of them. And I mean, like, very violently crazy. And just one night of <laughs> Apollo being completely abused. I mean, flat out tortured. Um, Emmy disappears and with her disappearance you're like well where's the baby and the baby is uh it's, it's a very horrific scene that they sort of draw up here um so apollo is really shattered because all he ever wanted to do was be a father um i think as you learn more about apollo and his family you really do start to understand why just not his desires to be a father was important to him, but sort of like the rooted trauma as to why this is the ultimate motivation for him. Uh, and by all means, he loves some Emmy. Like they, they're definitely cut from the same cloth. 
um they're very much into books and literature so like they they definitely had a good thing going um but you know i i think it's safe to say that amy sort of had postpartum to the to the extreme um along with some other things but like beyond that that really created friction between the two of them and then all that stuff could have happened and then emmy is gone so apollo is absolutely trying to figure out where's emmy and a little bit of revenge because of the baby, uh, which just sends him down a journey of like breadcrumbs left by her uh, to kind of discover where she ran off to. And that just goes into a, a whole nother direction that I'm not even sure we got time to talk about today. Um, so, you know, let's just put it this way. Apollo's at the Emmy. Emmy's after something. And will they ever reunite? Who knows? And, and, and with that, you know, Emmy and, and I'll say this. The, the episodes uh, uh, five, six, and seven definitely gives you a lot of backstory about Emmy. It gives you a lot, a lot of backstory about Apollo's mom and uh, Lillian, who's played by Dina Porter, who just flat out kills this. Um, so you start to really understand a lot more in terms of like sort of these characters' background, but sort of like their current motivations and their sort of current conflicts and trauma that they're, they're, they're experiencing. But again, a lot of it just don't come together. I feel like this gives you so much to the point that I'm almost more intrigued to read the books than to say that I would rather watch this again because I feel like the books probably really iron this all out so that it all makes sense. But again, with eight hours of television can you get every detail of the books i feel like they had to be skipping some stuff because yeah you get a lot of the backstories but you currently you kind of just leave off in terms of the importance of everything you build up in the first couple of episodes and again i say like the finale does answer and and potentially give you minor closure for some of the things but then it opens up the book a can of worms of just so much more um but i will say that like there's very good performances lakeith is good um, Clark is good. Adina's good. Um, even Malcolm has some moments that I think that Malcolm uh, Barrett, um, who plays Patrice Green, I think he has some good moments of comedy that you, you, you enjoy as well. I think him and Lakeith really bounce off each other very well. Um, and I will say that Malcolm and Adina who I've actually met in person together. And it's funny to think that they probably were filming this when I did meet them. The banter that they have in person just makes so much sense why they're just that good on screen here too and like there's very minimum but like still you enjoy it um and, and then you know when things were good lakeith and clark were also having some good moments together you kind of bought into their romance here uh but as i mentioned that like it gives you a lot of backstory but it doesn't give you enough in terms of what's currently happening so like things are a little all over the place like one of the biggest like uh elements of like mystery was like the three wishes and if you watch it you know what i'll talk about they didn't cover that at all <laughs> like they kept they went over the first two and i think the third is just left for speculation I, I don't know i'm just confused about that and then like i feel like it was so heavy on the horror in the beginning that they just kind of really went off the off the limb with that like it just went away and the things just became you know, from very horrific and, 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 and really hitting a lot of the different horror tropes, the things getting creepy, and then it just lost traction and it just got flat out just fantasy. Whatever you can kind of dream up, things were kind of happening. Again, the visuals were cool. I also thought the author of the of the um, of the novel, uh, Victor Lavelle, if I pronounce his name correct, uh, was also the narrator. I thought that's a really good touch. I think that. Um, that definitely was an added element to this that I enjoy. And again, it started to strike my intrigue about actually reading the book here. Um, but who knows? But like I said, the first three episodes, completely solid. The fourth one, maybe five, six, seven. Okay. And then the eighth, you're like, all right, that answers a couple of things in the first episode, but I don't know. So I will say that like I did enjoy the performances. I did enjoy the visuals. I did enjoy the score. I definitely thought this opened up very strong. It definitely makes me want to check out the book more than watch this again. Um, and overall, it's just a little all over the place, man. That's just the simplest way to put this. So 
Is it worth watching the entire season? That's towards your discretion here on that one. I, I would not be very confident telling somebody to go watch this and you'll just enjoy it the entire time. Um, performances alone, I think it's worth to watch. Um, but other than that, the story is just, it's really, really hard to kind of piece things together. And I watch a lot of stuff and I was struggling with this one. I'm just going to say that. But you may have better luck than me. And if you feel like you do, then check it out. And then come back in the comments. Let me know your thoughts about the Changeling again on Apple TV Plus. Four episodes are available right now. A new episode every Friday. So this Friday you will get episode five and it's eight episodes total. I checked them all out. So don't ask me how did I see it? I did. And that's just my thoughts about the entire season. So we'll see where it goes from there. There's potential for them to do more. It kind of does leave off in a way of saying, huh, what's next? But we'll see. We'll see. But anyway, get in the comments. Let me know your thoughts, folks. And as always, stay tuned for more reviews very soon.